Probably. I right. mean, I wouldn't really make sense to do this like more than once a year. I don't think, yeah, but. no, definitely not. Especially because you know, and and fight pits happening and everything. Like, yeah, it's gonna. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Uh, put yeah. The, put the Twitters it's up. The Pharaoh bot. The Pharaoh bot? Yeah. Follow us on Twitter. At oh. the Pharaoh bot and at underscore the sin. Hit me up. <laughs> Let us know how we're doing. Let us know how this tournament's going. That's what we really want to do. The yeah, stuff. yeah. Oh, okay. The Lakes go to Classic now with his Blue Zelda. I can dig that. I don't actually see Aaron play Zelda in tournament that often. It's like weird. I, I always see him. I always I, I see him often start with Zelda, but then like just depending on the character he's fighting, like he often switches. Yeah. Just because he realizes that like he can't necessarily do the things he wants to do, so usually he switches then to Mark or Falco. I feel and that's like, usually what I see and I might be way off here, but but tell me if you agree. I feel like he plays Zelda way more like out of region, like when he goes places. I feel like yeah. He plays Zelda yeah. More. Yeah. Yeah. No, I will attest to that. That's for sure. I mean, the thing is, like, you know, if your if your reputation precedes you, and you're known for being a Zelda player, like one of the very few. Then I think you know a lot of the time you're going to appeal to the masses, and Zelda is definitely one of the characters that you could do that with. Right, definitely. So I think that he definitely plays Zelda a lot more out of state, especially considering the people in Pittsburgh would probably know the matchup more. Yeah, that's also true. Yeah. I mean, he's been playing it for how long now? I mean, ev yeah, everybody, sure, 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 sure. <laughs> everybody playing now has basically played him. Yeah, that's true. But constant exposure, I guess, is like a different issue. Definitely. Oh uh, yeah, and that's that's so the SD right there. That's unfortunate. For as, for as, as long a reach of Zelda's recovery is, it sure is garbage, I must say. It's it's really hard to aim. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you like have this much experience with Zelda, it's like you're gonna miss sometimes. Yeah, but one of Zelda's good moves is that down smash, because that comes out so quick. Yeah. That comes out so early. And it's got just decent knockback. It's super silent, you don't even realize what happens like half the time. Things with the shield grabs. Yeah. So I feel like Marth might be like one of those, you know, one of those characters who would be at like a good percent to, um, or sorry, at a good uh, weight to be able to, you know, um, to get the the kicks on for, for Zelda. Right. Like just, it wouldn't be that much of an issue. I mean, I guess it's just like his range because of his sword is really an issue. But I feel like the Lake can manage to pull this off. Whew. The up tilt's gonna kill. Over B, over B, up tilt. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, there we go. The fade back. Yeah, I fall for that it every was, time. Yeah, it was crazy. He, he like barely stayed out of range. It drives me crazy how much I fall for that. Like when I do fight Zeldas, especially as Luigi, where I'm just like chasing them down like as fast as I can. Right. I slide right into it. Even if I'm not nearby, I will slide into <laughs> it. Oh my goodness. Oh, and he goes for the up air. I mean, up smash. Sorry. Now, Zelda definitely wants to keep her above him, for sure. Absolutely. Now, Zelda's air dodge is also one of the better air dodges in the game because it's practically a third jump, especially right. when you have such a terrible upbeat move or just like a, such a hard one to maneuver with. Go for the read on the down smash. Absolutely. Ooh. I like that idea. That was that was an excellent that was excellent shield pressure. Okay. Oh, but he gets the tipper. And even if it wasn't, I'm almost positive that would have killed Zelda anyway. Alright, now the lake's applying shield pressure as much as he can. Ooh. Throws out a forward smash and beach runs into the lake. And there goes the down smash. Excellent. So Lake t Lake takes game one, but Lake I, I feel one. like uh, if Beast continues with how well he's doing everything out of shield, yes. he, he definitely he definitely stands this. a chance. Absolutely. Or Marth did it. Beast is okay with it. <laughs> there we go. 
I've seen the Lake Smart, and it is nothing to uh, to trifle over. No, absolutely it's, not. It's quite impressive. It's quite it's it's efficient. It doesn't look like it, but it's like it's one of those things that's just like, oh, okay, that okay, oh, all right, I guess I lost, huh? His Martha and his Falco, but uh, yeah, absolutely, me, like just as much as his. I think I think very much that's just like the Lake style is that he plays so defensively, but like so perfect. He's, right. he's so he's so um, flawless with what he knows he wants to do. It's almost like he decides when he wants to lose and when he wants to win. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's that's why I really like the Lake because I think that he's like one of those awesome players that can just like, choose not to. Alright, so now it's just trying to get Marth's off each other. Now I love this matchup because well, I think that Marth matchups, like Marth dittos are always like fun to watch because it's always it's just about how smart the other player is. But I love I love this in particular because you've got the white Marth and the black Marth, so it's like the you know it's like chess. It's black king versus yeah, white sure. king. It's just whoever moves better on the battlefield. Well, we tried to get him back. Tried to get him back. Same, tried tried to uh, that he just karma had. him, but now. <laughs> Okay, but he gets him back, yeah. Trying to yeah. Kill somebody with the exact <laughs> same combo he got back. Yeah, but it's okay. He got him. He got him back, and you know he was at seven percent. So even. We're almost even at this point. Things need to smash in another there. Easy back there. Ooh. Oh. He had oh. he hit him with the down air and he, and he had him dead to rights and he just stood there. Wow, I am so surprised that that air dodge worked out so well. Here we go. At first. Nope. Yeah, just get back to the stage, nice and safe, or temporarily anyway. I would have countered there, but Goes that's for the shield bad. grab. So that's that's a risky maneuver though. Especially when Mark can punish so well. Oh my, oh my goodness. goodness! He hits with the reverse freaking. Oh my god! Tipper. The reverse tip. Yo! Holy mother! Wow. wow. And he makes it back to the stage. That's sweet spot. That was spot. insane. That is, I wasn't oh even talking God, about it because I was like, oh, but he killed himself. No, nope, not the no, case. No, 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 no. Aaron's, Aaron's putting in the work here. And he's just fighting back, too. That's for damn sure. But oh, Aaron's, that was, Aaron's just trying he's to He's trying to style. This way. There we go. He is. All right. Still, still got a game still on still our hands. Still two stocks, though. is trying to uh, make the best of this. And he can certainly turn this around. He recovers the low, but he makes it back. Oh, they're both <laughs> the uppies. There it is. And there it is. Okay, the down air to down air will kill and take the game. Take the set. Two at a lake, but excellent. Thoroughly entertaining. Stuff. Thoroughly entertaining. Absolutely. Two zero lake. Okay. Good stuff. All right. So we'll see who goes on stream now. Double dip. 